Have you ever wanted to earn an income selling website designs? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you tips and tricks on how to use AI and technologies with Elementor Hosting to design and build faster websites than a competition. We'll be looking into the design process and how to steal like an artist. And yes, you heard that right. We're going to steal. So hold on tight. Why Elementor Hosting is the best option to speed up your game and how to build your portfolio to sell your designs as a service or as assets. Hi, my name is Tino. I'm a desire free lesson and content creator, bringing you the best tips and tricks, AI and design. So let's get down a bit. The design process and how to steal like an artist. A great read is a book called Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. It speaks about the idea that nothing created is really original, but are simply a collection of inspirations compiled into your now new creation. Steal from one design is copyright infringement. Steal from many, it's inspiration. All designers do this instinctively when designing with a purpose. It's called mood boarding. The goal here is to collect relevant design pieces of inspiration into a board for you to have a visual idea of where the design direction is going towards. And this is what a mood board can look like. And this is what the website ended up looking like from that mood board. You can clearly see the consistency in style here, but not so fast. Let's rewind back and see how we got here. So for the sake of this example, we're going to make a website for a fictitious brand I created named Flexco, an innovative, classy and modern company making high tech shoe soles. Once we have those keywords that describes our brand, easiest way to start is to find a selection of high class website design templates that would fit our website and how we envision it. Great places to find superior inspiration templates are platforms like Webflow, Squarespace and Framer. For each mood board we make, I suggest to find three to five website templates to mix into one mood board. Here are the four we're going to use for this example. Breaking down your mood board into these five elements will help you search for your inspirations with a purpose. Color combinations, image and photography style, layouts and editorial, typography, branding elements and decorations. Design. To design faster and mechanize the process of stealing like an artist, we'll be using four digital products. Figma, HTML to design plugin in Figma and extension in Pro, ChatGPT or your favorite AI language model for copywriting, LensGo or your favorite AI image generator for generating images such as Midjourney. Open Figma and let's install the HTML to design plugin and the Chrome extension tool. Now, we can visit all the inspiration websites we used in our mood board, download the H2D file with the new extension we got, and upload that file to Figma via the plugin itself. This way, you'll be converting those websites into a fully editable file inside of Figma. We can now use those, combine them together, and design according to our mood board. And to complete this, we'll use ChatGPT and LensGo to create the copywriting and the images. And in just 30 minutes, boom, this is what I got. Not bad. So much time saved compiling inspirations by just simply stealing like an artist. We have just mechanized that process, so make sure to mix them and make it your own. WordPress and Elementor. WordPress is a content management system and Elementor is a visual website builder plugin that lives inside of WordPress. It allows you to build your site with widget blocks and visually customize the designs. And in my opinion, making it the perfect balance, more flexible than custom coded websites and more customizable than fast template websites. The Elementor hosting option is the easiest way to get your website up and running as they offer a solution to set up your WordPress and install Elementor, buy a domain and get started designing all under the same roof, which any designer will tell you that those four steps alone, it's very tedious. Building. To build your website, we'll use Figma to transport the designs from Figma into Elementor. Check carefully on their site and on YouTube tutorials how to set up Figma for the most efficient output. Figma makes a few assumptions when migrating the design, so there is a process to optimize it, but we won't get into this right now. Because without Figma, you would have to rebuild the whole site a second time from scratch inside of Elementor. So we save some more time there. Selling your website designs. We're going to talk about three things you can do with your website designs and what to consider when creating them to build your portfolio, sell your design as a service to clients, or sell your design as assets to other designers. Let's start with the portfolio. 
your portfolio is more important than you see me when it comes to being a designer. And the steal like an artist process will help you create a portfolio faster to show off your work and start landing some clients. We'll be looking into this in a sec. You can hold your portfolio in static form with social networking apps like Behance or Dribbble, for example. But the issue I have with that is that as a beginner designer, you will be judged by the views and like counts within your projects, making it much harder to compete with established designers, of course. So my suggestion is to create your own website with Elementor. And in your portfolio page, you'll be able to transport the viewer into your creation as a full page experience with animations and integrations like new videos and such, just like you planned, making a much better proof of your competence than a static portfolio. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't be doing the Behance and Dribble in parallel, but you see where I'm going with this. In this case, you can be fast and messy with your designs, but you must be sharp in your build because this is your final experience and this is what matters most for your viewers and potential clients. So let's segue into this, selling to clients. To find design clients, you will need a portfolio, of course, but you also need good salesmanship to close the deals. The best place to start are platforms like Upwork, TopTool, Design Hill, and Fiverr. But note that the design process we just saw with clients will need several options so you can discuss with your clients and narrow down these options into a final design that best reflects the client's brand and goals. We created one mood board into a website design, but understand that every process with a client will need several options. These are the best practices. So here it can be messy and fast with your designs, but you cannot be fast and messy with the way you explain the process. We must be clear with your client with a lot of patience. The final product must also be well finished because, well, it's obvious. So lastly, selling assets. Selling designs as assets is a different world where you don't need to do any client facing, which can be appealing for some. Using the steal like an artist's process, you can create fast templates to sell your designs on platforms like Creative Market, Theme Forest, and Envato Elements. Usually there's a sign up process, but once you're in, you can start selling them. But the key here is to make solid design layouts and well-organized files and exports. Most designers buy these assets to save them time, so consider this when finishing your assets to be clean and well-polished. That's a wrap for today. Leave your questions in the comments down below and hit that like button if this was useful to you and don't forget to subscribe. Our TikTok and Instagram got more bite-sized value every week, almost every day. So see you there if that's the kind of thing you're looking for. And in the meantime, thank you for watching. Cheers.